Hi everyone and welcome to the video. Today we're going to have a look at the spam filter settings for your mailboxes. So to start, log into your control panel by going to fastest.co.uk, go into login and clicking control panel login and then just log in using your usual username and password. Once logged in you need to browse to the hosting package it contains the email address you want to edit so click website hosting and I'm going to be editing a mailbox on the domain fastwebinars.com so find that on the list and then go to the email area. Now I'm going to be changing the settings for admin at fastwebinars.com which is a mail extra, uh, mail extra mailbox. These settings also apply to starter plus mailboxes and exchange mailboxes too. If you've got an exchange 2013 mailbox this is where you can find the settings under the email settings tab advanced settings for the spam filter under spam filter settings if we go back to my main mailbox I'm going to use for this video now though so to find the spam filter settings click on the spam filtering section and now you're going to see all the settings and these settings are exactly the same for the exchange mailboxes too. So first up is spam filter strength. So it starts with 5 which is recommended which is what the default setting is. 15 is the weakest and 1 is the strongest. So if you're finding spam is getting through and not getting marked the first thing to do is just increase the level incrementally till you, till you find a point where spam is getting marked but your genuine email isn't. So if you go to 4 see how that works then go to 3 and so on. Action on spam so you can include spam in the email subject line or you can delete email without notification or you can take no action. So I would say while you're trying to find the level that works for you start with include spam in the email subject line and when you're happy that nothing genuine is getting marked you can go to delete email without notification if you want but just remember you won't get any notification about it so genuine email might get deleted if you're not careful. Next up is trusted sender list and spam, spam block lists. So trusted sender list, as you'd expect, means nothing that comes from these senders is going to get marked as spam and anything in the spam block list will get blocked without hitting your mailbox. So you can add an individual mailbox. Or you can add an entire domain. So if you just add at domain.com we add that anything that comes from a mailbox at that domain is going to be on the trusted sender list in that example. Exactly works exactly the same for sp entering spam block lists as well. One thing you can do if you've got multiple addresses you want to add is separate them with a comma and you can add more than one at a time then so if you we add a comma there and add xyz.com Actually, let's just change that to ABC because otherwise it creates a conflict. There we go. As you can see, there's a comma separating those two. And when we click add, they're both added to the spam block list. The last thing you've got to do is just make sure you click save. Otherwise, they won't be in, they won't take effect. And there we go. The spam filtering settings have been updated. So filtering spam is a bit of a trial and error you've got to try and find the level that works for you but once you've got it set it, it can it's a really good thing to manage your mailbox with so that's the end of this video thank you very much for watching goodbye for now